Day two at MADEX 2023. Today we're focusing on the topic of submarines, both domestically and for export. We start today's video report with Hanwha Ocean. We are with uh, Mr. Kim. Mr. Kim, good morning. Good morning, sir. So we are standing in front of a KSS-3 Batch 2 model. Can you please tell us the role of Anwa Ocean in the KSS-3 program for the ROK Navy? For the KSS-3, the, there are two batches, Batch 1 and Batch 2. The, for the Batch 1, there are three submarines. And the, for the Batch 2, there is also three submarines. Total six submarines. And the, for the Batch 1, the, we already delivered two submarines to ROK Navy. And the, the, for the Batch 2, we contract the two submarines and the two submarines on the construction in our shipyard. Yeah. And uh, Anwa Ocean was in charge of the design of this submarine? Yeah, for the Batch 2 class, we did the basic design and also the detailed design as well. Yeah, yeah. And uh, regarding uh, the export of uh, submarines, I understand that uh, you are looking at the Canadian Future Submarine Program now as a, as a company. You sign uh, an agreement with uh, Babcock. Uh, can you tell us more? Yeah, the, the, for the Canadian submarine project, uh, we are pitching with the Batch 2 uh, submarine because we have a lithium-ion battery and AIP, so we can satisfy the, their uh, ambitious long-range submarine and also we have a vertical launching system and the more powerful compared to the other diesel electric submarine. So, so we hope to make a good uh, decision uh, from their RCN, Royal Canadian Navy. And uh, regarding uh, other countries, I uh, covered in the past that uh, Anwa Ocean was... Uh, so you success successfully did business with uh, Indonesia and uh, you are also looking at uh, the Philippines and uh, India maybe? Uh, for the, at, at this moment, the, the, we already delivered the three submarines to Indonesia and that I was there for five years as a project manager for the last submarine delivery. And then the, the, we are pitching to the Philippine Navy for the, their submarine. Yeah. So I hope to, we hope the good news soon from them. Yeah. We are now with Mr. Hu, Senior Vice President at HHI. Mr. Hu, good morning. So good to see you again. Uh, Mr. Wu, can you please uh, first tell us about uh, the expertise of HHI uh, in regards to submarines? Yeah. Submarine, when it comes to the submarine, uh, I think we are well prepared, you know, because we delivered already six units of Type 214. And we also built this, almost built, almost done, the 3000 class latest submarine as well in, uh, for the Korean Navy. So now uh, you're trying to export uh, submarine uh, to foreign markets. Can you tell us more? Yeah, we are always trying to find the, the way to export our submarine, not only the surface, but also submarine as well. So I was told there is a big project coming from, from Canada. So we would like to, to be ready for the project. So, you know, we are building the 3000 class, which is one of the good option for the Canadian Navy. So, so we are developing our, our technology and that we are networking with supply chain at the moment. Good morning John, great to see you again. Good morning, great to see you again too. I understand that uh, Babcock signed uh, two MOUs with two Korean companies in regards to uh, Canada's future submarine program. Can you tell us more? Yeah, so yesterday we signed technical cooperation agreements with both Hanwha Ocean and with HD Hyundai um, to look at collaboration on the planned Canadian patrol submarine program. So we're, we're very excited about that. What do you envision that the role of Babcock would be uh, in regards to that future submarine program? Uh, so, so I think it's a few things. The, the first thing is, obviously, Korea have got a, a very successful submarine program in the Jambogo 3. Uh, Jambogo 3 has Babcock's weapons launch system on board, uh, and that same weapons launch system, we believe, would be ideal for Canada with their torpedoes. Of course, Babcock have the long-term support contract for 
Canada's existing submarine fleet. And so we have an intimate knowledge of Canada's submarine supply chain, the training regimes and the relationship with government. And then the, the third piece for that is um, Canada has got quite a strong industrial technical benefit system, so it's an offset arrangement and, and we've, we've been in Canada for 15 years and we believe we've got a lot of value to add to Korean companies in helping them navigate that system in Canada. And uh, obviously Babcock uh, in the UK as well has uh, a lot of experience in regards to, to submarine uh, for the Royal Navy. Yeah, I mean, I would say between the work we do in Australia, uh, in the UK and in Canada, um, Babcock's one of the most experienced private sector submarine maintenance and sustainment companies in the world. Uh, we've got knowledge obviously in depth on nuclear powered submarines, but also on conventional submarines. Uh, and we've built over the years strong relationships in Korea and we act as a Korean business, so it's a logical partnership for us. We are now on the booth of Anwar Aerospace, who is showcasing ESS and lithium-ion battery systems for submarines, especially the KSS-3 of the ROK Navy. With me is uh, Mr. Herr, research engineer at Anwar Aerospace. Can you please uh, tell us uh, what are you showcasing here with this uh, model? Yeah, sure. So today I'll briefly introduce about our energy storage system. And we are from HANA Aerospace. And basically what we've done is um, we, we replaced the lead acid battery with um, lithium ion batteries. So uh, with the lithium ion batteries, um, we can have twice the longer life cycle. And also um, under submerged time, we have 60% more submerged time. And at full speed, we can have three times more submerged time compared to the lead acid battery. And um, last year, we finished the development of this system. And last year also, we finished the verification and we've done the most severe safety tests and reliability tests under the most severe conditions. And this year we're under mass production and next year we'll start the insulation into the submarines. And uh, by the end of the 2020s um, we'll have the, we'll deploy the whole system and then it'll go under action. Yep. So this is initially for the KSS-3 batch 2 submarines? Yes, yes, for sure. Yeah, that's but uh, you're also proposing them for the export market? Yes, so um, a lot of countries are uh, interested in our system, especially the Netherlands and Canada. So we'll work with Hanok Ocean to um, start the export to the overseas in the future. Yeah. So with an ocean for uh, the Canadian uh, program, we, we just discussed to them. Uh, for the Netherlands, that's uh, more interesting because they selected the three shipyards uh, from Europe for their submarine design. They will make a selection, I believe, in, in July. Yes, yes. So you could uh, be asked by uh, you could be selected by the Netherlands for, to provide this technology on the European design of the submarine yes that's true so the Netherlands is also very interested so they might select our sh ship for their um, submarine yeah. and uh, Wok, uh one last thing behind you you're showing uh, another technology for commercial vessels yes, yeah, that's right so this is our um, ESS for commercial vessels and with the technology from uh, submarines, we've developed the ESS for our commercial vessels. So we have two types of battery system for commercial vessels. One's the air cooling battery system, and the other one's, one's the liquid immersion cooling battery system. So this liquid immersion cooling battery system is a very special, unique um, system because our cells are immersed in the insulating oil. So it doesn't catch on fire, and it is a very safe and reliable system. So this is our storage system um, implemented in our submarine. Here you can see, currently see the um, charging uh, motion. Uh, when we are above the water, we charge our battery with a diesel uh, generator. And when we are under submerged in the, o in the ocean, we use the batteries for our propulsion. Yes. So this is basically our system. And as you can see, it's made out of, made out of a lot of modules. And this is actually uh, the size of our actual module here and basically this is showing um, it's charging and this is charging right now yep so that's the uh, that's our system thank you